aboard that crippled Carnival cruise ship that was adrift in the Gulf of Mexico for five food. days. And among the 4,200 passengers and crew aboard that ship was a man from Sherman Oaks, and he just returned home. He's also been talking with NBC4's Kim Baldonado. Kim? Chuck, he was with his fiance. They were part of a large family group celebrating a relative's birthday. We did speak to them moments after they arrived home here in L.A. How's it feel to be home? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is amazing to be home. Vanessa Vasquez and Devin Marble were passengers on the ill-fated Carnival cruise ship, The Triumph, which was left powerless on Sunday. At 4.30 in the morning when we heard the fire alarm go off, and Alpha Team, Alpha Team, go to engine room 6, and then you see the building smoke, and it smells like smoke. For the next five days, the ship was without air conditioning and working bathrooms. If you have to go number one, please go in the shower. Be in the shower. If you have to go number two, we're mm -hmm. passing around red bags. And we had sewage in the... And coming up out of our shower and in the uh, carpet. Devin is a TV producer and currently hosts the sci-fi series Haunted Highway. Because of his job, he always carries extra gear and gadgets, which came in handy on the ship. Me and my dad made these elaborate contraptions using zip ties and towels and pulleys and, and things to yeah. curb some of the ocean air into our rooms. Passengers whose cabins were too hot slept outside on the decks, but no one went hungry. There's our food supply. Thanks to other cruise ships, which brought food. <laughs> Cheers went up when the first tugboat arrived, but the line snapped several times. Despite their ordeal, this young couple sees the glass as half full. We've got some good family time in. <laughs> an extra. Our four-day cruise changed into an eight-day cruise. Now, as for Carnival's offer of 500 bucks and a free cruise, this couple says they'll take it. Reporting live from Sherman Oaks, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News. And we have developing news out of Northern California right now. Reports that